Alveda King's been cooking with her family her entire life. And now she even has her own cooking show called Alveda King's House. Take a look. Author and evangelist Alveda King is the daughter of civil rights activist A.D. King and the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Good cooking and good food have long been a part of the King family legacy. In her book, Gigi's Home for the Holidays, Alveda shares some delicious family recipes for celebrations like Easter and throughout the year. It is always a treat to have Alveda here, but especially when we're in the kitchen together, we really like this. Hi, Gigi. <laughs> Hi, Gigi. Oh, we're both Gigi in our Gorgeous families. Gorgeous grandma. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll sign up for that. So tell me about your, your show. How did that come about? I'm going to tell you that. But first, you know, women are so fussy. They never dress alike. But it really means we Look love us. each other. It does and mean we love Easter each other. Easter aprons. Yes. So how did this begin? It began with you. Really? I actually came. You found out I could cook. We did a cooking show years ago. I remember. And then Fox TV, Fox News, said, you could cook? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yes. And so I was offered an opportunity to have a series on Fox Nation called Alveda King's House. So How thanks. Fun. It's good to be back together. Again. Well, and there is never a, a more meaningful or great family dinner to cook than Easter and to prepare because you have so many wonderful things here. So let's get right to it and show people what your family is doing for Easter. You have lamb, which of course... Actually, thinking about Christ and the various opportunities to express our love for Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. especially at Easter and the sacrifice. And now he's our Lord. He has risen again. And so we have the lamb. And some people actually don't care for the beef or the other meats or even the ham. So mm -hmm. lamb, but it's so easy to cook and it is a showstopper. So, you know, you put your spices on it and then you drop it in the pan and sear it and then run it in that oven and you dress it up. We've got the mm. rosemary and the spices. Oh, it's so I, I could Easter. smell it mm -hmm. two blocks away yeah, when I came yeah. in this morning. I thought, ooh, breakfast with Elvita. This is great. Wow. And then green beans. And that's kind of a staple for people, too, for these holiday celebrations. How do you prepare yours? Well, you know, our children and grandchildren, especially they get kids to eat breakfast, if it's vibrant, colorful, and flavorful, they're more likely to eat it. Yes. So we just kind of saute them in a hot pan with the chopped fresh garlic. And people actually mm -hmm. love it. That's why the smell is so great. It's mm -hmm. that garlic down the hall. <laughs> yeah. And these are called angel eggs? Gigi's mama's, Mama Naomi, or Nani's angel eggs. She says, I'm not doing deviled eggs. We're doing <laughs> angel eggs. And if you go into the cookbook, you can actually see mom on a video. You can scan the QR card. Uh -huh. And she elevates it. Now, these are topped now with the cheese. So yes. you could do the little raw eggs or anything you want to put on top angel eggs. Awesome. And then you have to have a good salad for every meal and yours looks delicious here. Tell me what you've put in this. Well, you know, the, the greens there again, and we've got the arugula this time and mm -hmm. the fancy lettuce and the tomatoes, but people really, you know, they call it rabbit food. So here we are back <laughs> to the bunny. <laughs> But if you make it vibrant and pretty, as the tomatoes and the colors here mm -hmm. with the dressing, and this could be either lemon or olive oil or whatever you select, along with uh, your herbs and everything, your oil, your lemon, or your oil, and your um, just the various spices mm -hmm. and flavors that you like. Now, this one like. has the lemon, and this is yeah. good. And now, this is... Your dressing, right? This is my dressing, and this is a showstopper as well. It's, and it's it really, like it's it. gluten-free. And really? I, we actually made this one together years ago. So it's a bag, but you'll always find this dressing. It's a southern dressing, but it's got the raisins and the celery mm. and the rosemary and everything in it. And so it's almost always on my table on Sundays. That's wonderful because, you know, you, sometimes gluten-free like, you know, it's gluten -free, it doesn't you know taste I mean? good, you know, but you could do that gluten free cornbread. And once you bake it up, it's really yummy. That's awesome. And now everybody needs dessert, which is always my best part of the meal. But Me too. Let's, that's why we love well, each it. It has carrots, so it's healthy. That's right. OK, so let's look at what you've done. You're making carrot cake. I'm going to move down here. I'm we have the cookbook. I'm going to tell you about this in a minute. But before we do that, let's look at what you've brought. Let, these are the ingredients for your carrot cake, so I'm going to just put them in this bowl. Yes, that's what you do. It's a real simple and pretty cake, another showstopper. My friend Jan Horn, who did the photography for the book, this is actually Jan's recipe, not oh, mine. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Jan, we wish you were here to celebrate. So this we've got two this. cups of sugar. We've got our flour already measured, uh, our spices, and that's cinnamon. your nutmeg, of course, nutmeg. and your cinnamon. Mm -hmm. A little pinch of salt. There's a, there's a Himalayan sea salt there. Oh, you yes, need just okay. a little bit to take you the sweet me. I thought what I poured in there was the pinch of salt. Not really, okay. but I guess the pin it is the pinch of salt in a way. But uh, it's Himalayan this time. Okay. So you mix all of that up. All right. And then you want to get your eggs in there? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I know you cook as well as I do. I it's do. I, I like to cook when I like to cook. Does yeah. that make sense? I and when you have time. Because well, if that's you don't, the truth, it's not going to be good. And this is your oil. This oil. I think that's going to be, you could use avocado oil. And sometimes you can slip olive oil. It's just your oil of choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like avocado I told oil. you it was going to be healthy. Here your carrots are. Yes. Okay. Tell you something. <laughs> it's healthy. It's healthy. So it's okay to eat it. Okay. Okay. Then so we're going to mix, mix all this together. It makes a wonderful batter. You know, th this is a fun thing to do with your children, too. It is, and my kids and grandkids bake along with me as well. That almost makes Look the Look at the baking. pretty colors. It, it is beautiful. Get all this. Get those edges around yes. there. And see, what we're going to do, we'll get that in the pan, and you can either oil your pan or spray it with your baker's spray or whatever, okay. or the uh, the uh, pans that they have nowadays, nonstick. That's right. And they're great. Yeah, they so that's your great. choice as a cook, which that's way you right. want to do it, it's going to be good. Can we be that's sure so I get the bottom good. of this? Because mm -hmm. it can look like it's mixed, and it's not. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good. So now I'm going to put half in here, right? Half and half, yeah. Help me hold that. I got it. I'm going to hold it for you. Okay, thank you. Just don't want to. So half's going in here. We have so much in common. Gigi's <laughs> is the name. We both love to cook. <laughs> we do. We like pretty aprons. Oops. Okay, just hang on. I'm. Yeah, got to get the rest on. of that in there. Yeah, come on. More back mixing here. here. Yep. Okay. Let me grab it for a second and get it for you. Well, she's I'm doing that. I, do you, know, you know the thing about carrot cake, it just makes you want to do that, doesn't it? It does. I mean, it's the best. The icing is the best part. The there you go. I'll say, there Thank you go, you. sis. <laughs> Thank you, Jeej. Okay. She called okay. me Jeej. That's what my grandkids call me. Hey, Jeej. <laughs> okay. This half's going in here. So you get the idea. You've. I mean, I really... I think one of the things that's great about this is the fun of layering it, especially if you're doing this with kids. And you can double a... the recipe and, and have higher layers, whatever, however you want to do it. Yeah. So we're going to just do that. And I'll do that too. And this is a little trick. I saw them doing it on TV. Why? I don't know. I don't know why they did it, but I <laughs> Kind of settles the stuff. Okay. okay we're going to throw this in the oven. The magic of being able to do that. And then turn around and say, voila. <laughs> voila. And Here when it, it comes out, we begin to frost it. And so we get the frosting on it. Um, right go ahead. Here. Okay. okay. Is there more? Ooh, look at this. You can help. You and can... so we can both do one? Yes. Okay. okay. Because what's going to be real easy about this, we, we don't frost it on the sides. So we just do on both tops, and I'll do mine, you do yours, okay. and we'll set it over there. Now, we have some extra spices, Terry. What are we doing with those? And what we will do, because it gives it a nice little sprinkle look, it makes the cake more decorative and, and more tasty. So we'll get those spices, sprinkle them on there, get them on top of each other. This is cream cheese base, Yes, right? it's a cream cheese, and, and, and cream cheese frosting is That's so easy. <laughs> Powdered sugar cream cheese, blend it together. And if you want to put a little vanilla in there, sometimes I put almond in there. I wouldn't do it with the carrot cake, but some of my cakes, I'll put a little almond flavor. And these will go together. We'll put one on top of the other. Okay. I'm going to so dust. So it looks like I'm going to have to put mine on top of yours. Boy, they had no idea what they were asking. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Wait a minute. Now let's dust it Oh, we're going to do bit. that first. We're okay. going to dust both okay. layers. So I'll pass it to you. Just a little dust in there. It makes it pretty and tasty and flavorful. Okay. My your cinnamon and your nutmeg. And we're going to slide one on top of the other. Or we're going to try it. We're going to try <laughs> Okay. I love your faith, Alvita. All right. Well, this is Jan's recipe. You're going to slide those over. Well, let okay, me do Let me come to you. Can you come to me? I can okay. come to you. I'm going to get this under there. Look at you. There we are. Look at you. And, now, and then you've final got the nuts garnish. to put on. Ooh. 
We I did love it. This. We did it. We did I it. I love this. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes, I'm gonna easiest. Let, you want to finish putting putting these on because I'm gonna tell them where they can find this. Okay. Alveda's book. It's full of amazing recipes, holiday memories from the King family and their friends. As you mentioned, the cake is a friend's recipe. It's called Gigi's Home for the Holidays, and it's available nationwide. You can also find the recipes for all the wonderful food we talked about here today at CBN.com. Gigi, you're a treasure. You are too, my friend. Thank you.